Audi Auto, they've got Audis, Hondas, and Toyotas. Yeah. They are the ones who sponsor, who mass thinks is a fraud, and who's for real. Yeah. Maz is tears. Yeah, those are the tears of the clown. Maz is tears. The second tier. Hold on, let me get my pen. Maz is tears. Dallas. Yeah. Buffalo. Tennessee. Maz is tears. Third tier. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me get my pen. Maz is tears. 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 Yeah, right. It's time for Maz's Tears, presented by the Bernardi Automotive Group. When it comes to auto dealers, the Bernardi Automotive Group always finishes top tier. They sell and service Acura, Audi, Honda, Nissan, Toyota, and Volvo vehicles. Bernardi for now, Bernardi for life. Visit them now at BernardiAutoGroup.com. Maz, what do we got? Okay, so we decided to go with, uh, given that this could be Bill Belichick's last week on the job, and certainly seems headed that way, we decided to go with best coaches slash executives in Boston sports over the last 50 years. That's an approximation. Call it 1970. Okay, the modern era, for lack of a better term. And rather than do the typical five tiers, I decided to break them into three. And we wanted to make a little bit of fun. So tier one is great. Tier two is good. And then rather than do average, I just skipped that entirely and went to suck bag. The worst. Okay, so tier one, great. Tier two, good. Tier three, suck bag. Love it. I'm not really interested in naming every average coach or executive that came through here. You follow me? Yeah. Is it too much to ask that you start tier two? Like, give me the good, not great, and then give me the best, and then give me the worst. Well, tier one's kind of obvious, so that, that's uh, why I don't mind starting tier one. Okay, I'll shut up now. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> and these are in no particular order. Red Auerbach, Bill Belichick, Theo Epstein. Okay. Now, let me just say quickly. Put them in order. Okay, I would actually do them in that order. Red Auerbach, Bill Belichick, Theo Epstein. Red Auerbach over Bill Belichick. I would. Red one, how many titles? And again, I see, he yes. was... Eight. Well, okay, and here here's the real advantage he has over Belichick. Nine. He was an exceptional general manager. He was he made some great oh, Russell. Great, great moves. Uh Russell, Who's McHale, he? and Parrish for Joe Barry Carroll. Oh, yeah. Larry Bird oh, drafted that. the year before. Like, you know, a Len Bias deal despite what happened. Like he made some unbelievable moves. So I would say Red was the best we've ever seen. But honestly, if I could divide that tier one into a tier and a sub tier. I would put Theo at one B. I had it so Belichick's third on that list. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I, I see, mean, I see, I see. One A is Red and Bill. Got it. One B is Theo, Got who it. has two championships. Got it. But you know, given what Theo had to deal with for the, uh, you know, the curse and all that bull crap, like, and he won two of them. That was no, he wasn't here as long as the other two. Inherited a lot. Yeah, he did, but he made some b- pretty ballsy for moves sure. in there. So I would put Theo on tier one. I think we'd all be happy if Theo were the uh, GM. Yeah. Again. Okay, I'm surprised a certain name wasn't on that top tier list, but go ahead now. Please. Okay, now tier two. And again, these are in no particular order, but I'm also going to take a uh, put a couple of people in a sub tier. Doc Rivers, Alex Cora. And let me, let me just say that both of those guys would be in tier 2B. I would put those guys in tier below the rest of the people on this list. Claude Julian. Oh, oh. Terry Francona, <laughs> Don Cherry, Harry Sinden, Dick O'Connell. I thought we said since 1970. Well, Harry Sinden was a president of the team. But he was a GM for 30 years into the 90s or eight, late 80s, whenever it was. What, Dick that, O'Connell was 67, right? No, no, Dick O'Connell was into the 70s. No, but wasn't he the, wasn't he the manager of the 67 team? No, no, you're thinking of Dick Williams. Oh, my bad. You're getting Sorry. your dicks mixed up. Yeah, Dick O'Connell, the general manager of the Red Sox in the 70s. Bad Dick. He did a, uh, in fact, the next guy on the list is Chuck Fairbanks. I would p- say that Dick O'Connell and Chuck Fairbanks were very similar. They developed and drafted tremendous talent. Oh, we were going over Chuck Fairbanks' drafts earlier? Incredible. I mean, go ahead, Master. No, and then let me just add, uh, Danny Ainge, Bill Parcells, Tommy Heinsohn, Larry Lucchino. I don't think you should leave Lucchino out of this. He's Interesting. A, he was an important pushback on Theo Epstein. Again, I add Rivers and Cora to this list, but I'd put them behind everyone else that we mentioned there. And Rivers and Cora won championships. So I don't want to call them, you know, they're better than average, but they're not really what I would call 
well, on the same level as Tommy Heinsohn or Fairbanks or O'Connell? Go Chuck, ahead. Chuck Fairbanks, one of the most forgotten and underrated uh, figures in Boston sports history. That 70s uh, Patriots team was a wagon. They easily could have won the Super Bowl in 76 if not for Ben Dreif. They were the only team that beat the Raiders who did win the Super Bowl. He is drafting from 73 through 78. Murray, Plunkett. listen to this. He, he traded Plunkett, okay? So yeah. he got and got three first round picks back for Plunkett. But between that and the picks that he did have, these are guys that he drafted. He drafted John Hanna. He drafted Sam Cunningham. He drafted Daryl Stingley, who was going to be a stud before he got hurt. He drafted Steve Nelson. He drafted Andy Johnson. He drafted Russ Francis. He drafted, again, Steve Grogan in the fifth round. He drafted Mike Haynes, Pete Brock, Tim Fox. Wow. He drafted Raymond Claiborne, Stanley Morgan, Don Hasselback. I don't know if you put him on the list, but he – how many – did I just list five Hall of Famers? Maybe. I mean, I don't know if Sam Cunningham's in the Hall of Fame, but do you understand? There's team Hall of Famers on there. Those are studs. What I, The drafting that that guy did? Out of this world. And Dick O'Connell was the Red Sox equivalent. Fred Lynn, Jim Rice, Carlton Fisk, like all those guys through that era – he, he basically built the Red Sox team of 1975. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so I to me, those guys are very, very comparable. Uh, and I, I said I would have added, if there was a sub-tier with Cora and Doc Rivers, I may have added Mike Milbury and Terry O'Reilly. So they were good coach. They were pretty good coaches. Claude? Well, he won a cup. How many years is a year? Did he win more games than any Bruins coach in history? Was I, it something like that? I think it might be. Uh, actually, Cassidy, if I'm not mistaken, but he's up there. Claude? Yeah, Claude is a good coach here. Claude. Yeah. Claude. How many cups did Cassidy win? Uh, one. Here. Oh. Zero. Oh, okay. Just, I just thought I'd pass I mean, that one. Yeah, well, but so obviously. Claude was think... like a happy accident. Okay. Now, tier three. <laughs> this is the suck this bag tier. This is what I got watching Penix the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this is the suck bag tier that coaches that I go, or executives, I go, oh my God. Broad Rust. Dave Lewis. Yep. ML Carr. Yep. Rick Patino. Yep. Joe Kerrigan. Yep. I think I picked one from every team. I tried to pick one from every team. But you're missing at least one. Ooh, go. Who? Heim Bloom? Oh, yeah, I considered him. Well, consider I considered him. him. Yeah. I, I, I should have put Heim Bloom on this list. That's fair. Thank you. Because I got to 18 and I couldn't, I wanted to get to 20. I got, and I, I meant to put Bloom on there, so you're right. Thank you. I aired. Yep. You That's sure two R's and airs, Moscatel. E R R E D. Aired. You mean like I made Jordan? a mistake. Well, and I, you know, I'd also put give Bobby Greer some consideration up there. Thank you. As suck bag or, or suck uh, no. bag. Okay, okay. Bobby Greer is one of the best. Well, I don't know. Do you want to give you his drafts? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> I would like to know. I just gave you Fairbanks. I just gave you the best of the best. Bobby Greer, Chris Canty, Brandon Mitchell, oh, God. Cedric Shaw, Chris <laughs> Carter, Damon Denson. Ed Ellis, Damon Denson, Tabucky Jones, Tony Simmons, Rod Rutledge, Chris Floyd, Craig Spires. He was actually right. Damian Woody. Good. Andy Katzenmeyer. Oh, Ooh, what a bust. Yeah, you get hurt. Andy Katzenmeyer, who Bill is known as the big cat. Yeah. Right? Bill called him the big dog. He sucks so bad. He was a dog. <laughs> the big I remember the big dog. Kevin Falk, he was good. Tony George, Derek Fletcher, Mark. Oh, Bobby Gris was a disaster. Oh, how many years was, did he do? Three. It? Wow, those I, were horrible. And so 96. You know, this is where Bill Parcells stormed out of the room. I don't know if you want to give this to Bobby Gurr. I don't. I want to give it to Parcells. Terry Glenn, Laura Malloy, Ted Bruschi. One, two, three. Bing, bang, boom. How about 95? Bill Parcells. Ty Law, Ted Johnson, Curtis Martin. That's Suck. a pretty good draft. Awesome draft. Suck on that. Two Hall of Famers in there. Ty Law, Ted Johnson, Curtis Martin. Ted was a damn good player. 94, Willie McGinnis. 93, Drew Bledsoe, Chris Slade, Todd Rucci, Vincent Brisby. All good players for you. That, Chris that, Canty. And, hit. And, and, and so listen, to tie this all together, Kraft blew him out because he didn't want to do the drafting. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's another one. And yet, if you listen to or you read The Athletic today, Kraft is taking credit for the success of Bill Parcells, yeah. who he inherited, didn't hire, he inherited, and then forced out. But then somehow now he's taking credit for him. You're proud of the fact that Parcells went on to have a long career. The guy that drafted Willie McGinnis, Drew Bledsoe, Ty Law, Ted Johnson, Curtis Martin, Terry Glenn, Lori Malloy, Teddy Bruschi. Uh, you you fired because you didn't want him drafting for you. And took you to a Super Bowl as oh, a coach. God. 